I also want to say a special thanks and congratulations to Rob. Um, it's 38 years total at the Washington Institute and 30 years as the executive director. That is quite remarkable and we thank you for your service. From the U.S. National Security Advisor to the King of Jordan, from the Prime Minister of Israel to the President of the United Arab Emirates, Dr. Robert Satloff has earned the respect of leaders around the world for providing innovative solutions to some of the most vexing problems in the Middle East. He first visited the region 42 years ago on a collegiate journalism trip. He met the legendary Moshe Dayan, was evacuated out of Hebron by the IDF after fainting while covering a demonstration and had a gun pointed at him by an Egyptian soldier as he tried to climb the Great Pyramid in Giza. He was hooked. Four years later, Rob joined the fledgling Washington Institute as a junior researcher. And less than eight years after that, he became its director. He has never left. As a scholar and a policy analyst, Rob believes that smart answers come from asking the right questions, the questions no one else asks. So as we honor his 30 years leading the Washington Institute and the many years that lie ahead, we ask, how is this executive director different from all other executive directors? From his first years with the Institute, Rob recognized that Washington is a battleground of ideas, that information was the key to access and access was the door to policy impact. The formula of outstanding scholars, solid research, innovative ideas, and compelling ways to present them has made the Institute the policy powerhouse that it is today. Over the years, Rob worked closely with a remarkable group of generous, far-sighted trustees who share his commitment to U.S. engagement in the Middle East, the value of a strong alliance with Israel, and the recognition that the key divide in the region is not Arabs versus Israelis, it's moderates versus radicals. In Washington, across the country, and around the world. Rob has led the Institute, trustees, colleagues, and staff through unspeakable tragedy with the resolve to fight back. Together, they have celebrated moments of joy with the determination to expand the circle of peace. As administrations swung from one party to the other and back again, Rob always kept his sense of balance and mission. He calls himself one of the last nonpartisan people in Washington. And that laser focus on details, not bluster, has propelled the Institute from a small boutique organization to one of the most respected think tanks in Washington and the world. While providing a home for the most brilliant Middle East experts in America, Rob has also created a training ground for hundreds of talented young people, a new generation of analysts, journalists, and policymakers who will influence government for decades to come. Through it all, Rob leads by example. He is a scholar's scholar. He wrote the first academic study of Hamas, the first comprehensive analysis of the Jordanian Muslim Brotherhood, and two path-breaking books on Jordanian politics. 20 years ago, he turned his research focus to uncover Arab heroes of the Holocaust and the lost history of the Holocaust in Arab lands which led to a best-selling book and a highly successful PBS documentary. I decided that my modest contribution to healing the wounds of September 11th would to try to address the problem of Holocaust ignorance and Holocaust denial in Arab societies. That work has continued in the policy sphere as he has spearheaded a campaign to bring Holocaust awareness and education to countries from Morocco to Saudi Arabia. And in a unique form of public service, virtually every week for the last 19 years, he has hosted a television show on the U.S. government's Arabic satellite channel to explain America to millions of viewers in the Arab world, building a virtual bridge for peace and understanding. Ahlan wa marhaban bikum fi barnamij Dakhil Washington. Ana mudifakum Robert Satloff. 
Through it all, Rob has been supported by his loving family, who became an integral part of life at the Institute. So why is this executive director different from all others? Well, because Rob didn't just manage an institution, he built it. Many years from now, when he passes the baton to a successor, the organization he leaves behind will bear his imprint, an institution of integrity and vision, an institution unafraid to speak truth to power, an institution where both ideas and people matter. Good evening, I'm Rob Satloff, and I'm the director of the Washington Institute, and it's the best job in the world.